Hello to everyone and welcome you to the web radio. 
essere il cambiamento dot it, which means in English be the change. My name is Claudia and I'm here connected with Andrea. Hi Andrea, how are you? Hi Claudia and welcome to all listeners to our radio. Today we are holding this radio episode in English. So we are welcome all English speaking listeners. You are very welcome. You are really very welcome. In this episode we will speak about the great invocation which is the first mantra that we will also listen to this mantra before the meditation. And we want to explain what is the significance, the meaning, and also go through the power of the word. So the power of the word is noted with the Masarimoto experiment, rice experiment, that consists in taking three pots of the same size as rice and applying labels with words of high vibrations, low vibration, and ignoring the third at all. This is the first method proposed by Imoto to see the effects of our words or mother on the physical world, starting from a very simple example of a Rex experiment that everyone can do. Masaru Moto was one of the first Japanese researchers to seriously study the properties of water and also the formation of water crystals. It has developed a technique to examine the microscope and photograph the crystals that form during the freezing of different types of water. He began to study water from the great cities of the world, for example, from the faucet or water for springs, lakes, swamps and glaciers in various parts of the world. It came to light immediately that some ty types of water produced harmonious and beautiful crystals. They were like uh, snowflakes, like uh, water found in nature in unspoiled springs, while other types of water had uh, amorphous, also chaotic forms uh, such as dust uh, the tar. They found themselves in big cities, but in some cities, such as uh, Buenos Aires or other major uh, South American cities, water was rated harmonious uh, than perhaps uh, taps water in Paris or in London. At this point, we have the confirmation that the energy of those cities is less stressful than in London or Paris. In fact, it was the people living in that city were to influence the crystallization of water rather than chemicals. So Imoto began to show this aspect and exposed to distilled water first to vibrations of the music, then songs, and then later in words, prayer and photos. He quickly realized that water had the ability to memorize very sensibly all of energy it received from the environment, and this energy is called in Japanese Hado. Water subjected to vibration to thoughts or positive words, or as example, love, gratitude, happiness, forgiveness, form beautiful crystals, while water that is subjected to vibration of negative words and thoughts, such as hate, anger, fear, react to creating structures that are amorphous and lacking in harmony. Masaru Moto's technique is based on taking a certain amount of water, influencing it with sound and words. It takes about 50 of each 0.5 milliliter sample and is separated into several tubes that are frozen at minus 27 degrees for 3 hours, after which they are taken on at the time and analyzed in a minus 5 degree room with a microscope and photography. But of course, only in some of these uh, 50 samples, uh, the crystals are clearly visible. These interesting exper experiments have not been confirmed by science, because clearly each crystal that is formed is always different, even if the same word is applied. Also, because there is a very short time to photograph the crystal and may still be similar, but never it identical. So, for example, if we take two roses and for the same family, are certainly not identical. They are similar, but not identical. However, Masurimoto has tried to get the message of crystals, or at least the formation, non-formation of crystals, based on high and low vibrations, 
a very simple and intuitive message that even without photographing the crystals, if a person lives in a place full of love and gratitude, care and high vibrations in general, it's clear that it is both physical and mental, physiologic, psychological and it is an expansive environment with respect to these vibrations. If, however, you are in an environment where the vibrations are low, uh, however, if you are in an environment where, these vibration, where the vibrations are low, it is clear that uh, you will be also influenced by this vibration and also it creates this vibration, also it creates our lives, other situations and other kinds of things that above all it nourishes certain situations. This is a fairly intuitive discourse that has never been recognized scientifically, but there have been some great steps forward in this direction, especially in the amazing results that the motto had directly with people, especially with children, because by displaying and showing this crystal, the human mind can see a result and thus the effects of a word, a music, a song, any song, any kind of energy vibration. The result then remains imprinted of the crystals or non-crystals and the forms remains imprinted within the people. Does this also help to mature an awareness and height sensitivity than before? Then, however, he has had a great success. The studies and also the spread that has been and the peace project he began to spread and that now Masaru Emoto's pursuit is trying to propagate. Focus on these vibra vibrations and make steps forward on this direction and so the result there have been. We speak now about the focus affirmation for introducing the great invocation. We start with the statement I am, which is the most powerful affirmation. That includes all affirmation together. So we add a noun, I am love, I am gratitude, I am harmony, I am balance, I am awareness, I am wisdom, and so on. In short, all these statements were precisely structured in this way so that the verb would be united immediately to the word itself and then to that energy, to that very vibrating energy. If we want to look at Masaru Emoto's experiments, trying for a moment to figure out how he proceeded and how he respected that influence of word on matter, we can really find many interesting experts to compare. So the first focus affirmation is the I am, so the great I am, which is, includes all affirmations, and then we put together the great I am with the, the noun. Meanwhile, simple words uh, are an out. So, for example, harmony develops a certain kind of crystal, like the word love, and so on. For his observations, or from that, however, his perception of the formation of these crystals has led him to say that the most beautiful crystal comes from the words love and gratitude. In fact, this is the most popular crystal and is a beautiful Corcus crystal. Aligning to these vibrations, we can really make a leap forward remarkable and, above all, appreciating from the visual point of view the beauty of this crystal. We can also understand what the influence is, the incidence these two words have on us, how powerful we can act not only in pronouncing them then pronouncing the word love, gratitude, then feel these emotions, these vibrations, that expand from the center, especially when breathing is exercised so slowly the air flows, especially if we do the full one from bottom to top through the legs and feet, from the roots and then feel the contact of the feet with the floor from the bottom up, the energy rises and then is released to the ground and in the meantime we constantly change our inner state. There is a flow of air that is a flow of energy that flow in us. We begin to perceive our selves better and we are more 
focused. Once we come to say this word clearly, we are raising our level of vibration. They are simple enough, these words. If we add beyond this, I am, before these words, I am love, I am gratitude. This power is even more amplified because it refers to ourselves, to our I, to our individuality, because each of us is a unit of awareness. So we can use the plural, we are love, we are gratitude, a collective statement. From the moment we pronounce I am love, I am gratitude, we are going to impress precisely that particular energy vibration in ourselves. And this will have important effects on us for two reasons. Meanwhile, because the thought begins to focus on that type of thought, a word begins to have effects as if it were a set, then thoughts would be aligned with that type of vibrations. So more thoughts, thoughts more aligned with love and gratitude. In addition to the muscular relaxation of the body, in general, we will feel even better. The words has an enormous power. It is something that we can use for ourselves to evolve and to make significant progress forward. As our motto shows us all these through these experiments, we can go to see all these beautiful crystals forming on the internet. They are posted to us on the various events and pages of the great day of love and gratitude. We realize how effective, effective the most beautiful crystals that are formed are those that are constituted by the noon world. So the principle is the seed from which everything else originates because it is an adjective and a declination always of the noon. So if I say I am gratitude, I have a kind of energy. If I say I am grateful for this experience, clearly refers to the word gratitude, but it's a declination just compared to my specific experience that I'm living at this particular moment. For example, we can take some sentences like I'm not hate or I'm not afraid. We do not perceive it the not. When we create, we focus only on the word hate, fear. So that's just the vibration that we are sending as we are creating our reality. They focus only on positive words. In fact, even in example of the rice, you have to write the words love, gratitude, forgiveness without the negation, such as no, without grace, or things of this type. So you have to be really clear clear and simple love gratitude forgiveness these are the three most powerful words they are the most powerful that masaru moto really saw in his experiments with water crystals you can really prove ourselves how powerful there are and how much positive affirmation create much more positive than a negative statement as a result of the incident uh, that took place in Fukushima in Japan in 2011, apart from the various experiments he made to place, and especially those related to the water and crystals that form after prayer, before a prayer the water assumes a certain configuration, does not form the crystal, instead after prayers, yes. Having already been able to observe the various experiments of this kind, he also began to perceive the importance of creating a world of peace, serenity around us, especially for our children, for children of this new world. And then to give future generations a world of peace, serenity and love. When the accident occurred in 2011, Masarimoto proposed to perform, regardless of geographical location, every 11th of each month to do and at noon a prayer, repeat a mantra called the Great Invocation, so that we could all pray together in every part of the world. So this is definitely an important way to do and to organize something. Everyone can do it freely with wherever they are. Of course, the effect that you have when you, when we are together is an important focus in this direction. It is clear that we, what we live when we are meditating and praying alone is a different experience. 
Therefore, we want to in, we wanted to introduce this day also to experience together these moments of profound union of our hearts, in which we also are taken by hand. We feel each other, and we also perceive this flow of love flowing through us. We want to speak now about a great invocation. Even in recent years, we share this invocation. This year, we want to devote some more time to the good and talk well of this invocation. In Japanese, it is Uchu no Mugen no Chikara ga Korikote. Makoto no Daiwa no Mio ga Narinata. In English, it is The eternal power of the universe has gathered itself to create a world of two in great harmony. This affirmation, a truly powerful prayer that is created by Nobu Shioya in the Japanese jargon, is also called Kotodama, that is the spiritual power of words, and was created for peace on earth. We deeply analyze every piece of the sentences. The eternal power of the universe, in this case, if there are, if there was only the word power without the adjective eternal, and then the universe, the sentences would clearly have assumed a different connotation because in the word power there are present many different vibrations, precise focus through the adjective eternal and then of the word universe. Instead, it has been given a precise focus through the adjective eternal, and then of the word universe. The eternal power of the universe is as if we were all of a great power of the universe, of all of exists. So it is a, like a big power. So there is a, like a concentration of this power, and this concentration is at one point. And we are these multiple points to thank the connection during this prayer. The eternal power of the universe has gathered itself to create a world of true and great harmony. In the part to create, there is the purpose with the word harmony has been given an imprinting because it is a word that holds the world. In fact, it, it is not, it has not been used the word peace for example, in the sense that harmony is already in the order of things, instead peace that is a state that we are going to build. We actually, we will actually build it because in reality we also live situations that are not of peace, therefore of situation in various parts of the world and, and also in our own lives. We need to build peace because that are dynamics and mechanisms So it is not peace, this is called, but it's the word harmony, which is already an intrinsic characteristic of the universe itself, also as geometric perfection of the universe. It's all right, we just align with this. This phrase in particular gives that focus. True and great harmony also are adjective always refer to the noun. In this case, true recalls to the noun truth and great calls greatness. This boosts the word harmony. Our focus is straight. In practice, all our focus goes to this word, harmony. On the one hand, the eternal power of the universe is condensed and it will be concentrated in ourselves at the point where we are, and it will be propagated as if we were this same power of the universe, which manifests itself through us. So we are united in prayer and meditation, Let's focus through this power to create the world with a true and great harmony. A sentence where the dominant vibration is harmony, which is the first to be evaluated, is a powerful phrase to which we align, putting all the focus, leaving that energy either coming or just flowing into we ourselves. You can make sure that we align ourselves spontaneously with universal harmony. This is the sense of this phrase and that is why it is really very powerful and each of us encloses the whole universe and, and become a channel, a catalyst of this universal energy which is concentrated in ourselves and then propagated to us. Obviously, if we are 
in so many this is like propagating in a network and then the propagation is much more powerful it amplifies this power i want to share a short step from the book fontaine of wood fontaine of youth by dr nobu shioya but if space is pervaded by the inexistible energy of the universe why we don't assist every day to new miracles in other words, why for concentrating the inexhaustible energy of the universe, I required mental representation and visualization? Let's explain it with a practical example. To burn a sheet of paper by using sunlight is not enough to put the sheet in the sun, but it also needs a convex lens. The lens rules light and the paper begins to burn. We replace the lens with our mental representation and our realization, or if we want, with the creative force of truth and proper breathing, or if you want, with the creative force of truth and proper breathing. As long as the universal energy of the universe is not focused with the lens or mental representation and is not directed to the object is not used in a target manner because in order to realize truths, mental representation and visualization act as a lens, concentrating universe energy and then direct it to the lens. This energy is always available and inexhaustible but to use are required intense thoughts and views. It's a wonderful example that Dr. Nobu Shioya describes to us how the mind and the creative force of thoughts that really work first. There is also a very important clue to this except in addiction to using proper breathing to create a reality and thus to achieve well targeted thoughts. You must also have a positive focus. In order to concentrate on the energy of the universe, however, you must force to attract or convey to you a positive energy. So positive thoughts, because only positive thoughts create, while the rest clearly doesn't create. But as we have seen with the crystals of Masaremoto, the crystals that are created with positive words are harmonious, geometric. Where are the negative ones are our moves and this is the very same thing that happens in your reality. In addition to this very important step, there is another one that concerns the personal experience of this doctor and that he had also found in the life of Masarimoto. Indeed, Imoto then chose to leave to him the direction of the ceremony on the Lake Biwa of 1999. Then this collective prayer that has been made for the peace of water purification to which hundreds of people took part and in practice the effect of prayer lasted up to six months after the prayer itself. The crystal is formed up to six months later. This is the time we can consider. By taking the experience and the experiment that have been made, we can use this scale of orientation and we will do the event in June, so now, and then this effect lasts for six months and during these six months. So the goal is to emit high vibrations to elevate ourselves by doing an inner work both individually and in group through us or even by joining in this intent. And then anyway, the effect that is for good arrives until de December. In January, then we relaunch the new event and then focus on it. The important thing is maintain the focus because it is not only the day we do the meditation that we are going to imprint a vibration in the water, we are referring to all waters that we have touched and seen in our lives. All this water will, will receive our imprinting because each of us is linked to personal memory. It is related to personal experiences of these memories and 
then also all these experiences join together in the sense that past, present and future are not separate reality but are manifestations of the eternal present moment and these let us purify ourselves to act on all waters we came into contact with Mother Earth and the flowing waters that nourishes life on the planet. This resource is increasingly important. There is also a, res a research that uses this element that even animals need water as well as human beings because it is the most valuable asset we have on the planet that nourishes life itself. Returning to Masaru Moto's personal experience, Nobu Shoyo has enabled him to gain access to higher spiritual levels. So he has joined some of the awareness he has developed with respect to the experiment he has made. In fact, in many interviews, he says, Before, I never cared for spirituality. I didn't even know what they, that was. Then, thanks to the continuing experiences he has done with water, he has discovered this rule of becoming messenger of water and above all to build the state of peace in ourselves. Indeed, in the sentences, the word harmony is called and therefore we are more in agreement with this version. Because the term peace is fine, so in each one of us lives your personal things, but the word harmony is a term that has a universal connotation. It definitely suits best for a prayer, word meditation. Respiration is very important for meditation and prayer. Breathe properly by using diaphragmatic breathing does make the oxygen rich by feeling it. When Shioya talks about the experience, having had a several physical problems, he has overcome them thanks to this awareness and experiences he has developed. Why does life become free with a creative force of thoughts and with proper breathing? I explain it in a few words. With repeated depth, breaths and imagination, we can accumulate in our infinity and immense energy body in every corner of the universe. And we can also radiate this energy on all things outside of us and activate them by training the imagination and learning how to use the spirit. Properly, we can get rid of the energy of health and wisdom within us in a short time. In this way, we reinforce the conviction and that will the power the realization of things and ideas. This part is emblematic, united to the former as well, because it is essentially the sentence of the Great Invocation. In practice, he argues, also Nobu Shioya, that it is also his personal experience to several to heal several diseases. However, his health was quite unstable when he was a child. And then through deep breathing, which among other things also promotes a deeper and deeper connection to us themselves, and ima imagination in the sense of focusing thoughts. However, we can create a sort of mental image, so, so if we also radiate positive vibration, clearly this mental image is reinforced. Our breath connects us to ourselves, to our superior self, through imagination, through visualization, which we focus on certain images, on certain inner state. We accumulate, we can accumulate, he says, in our organism, the infinite and immense energy present in every corner of the universe. In practice, this is what he suggests. This is something that is then proposed through this prayer. This energy is channeled. Clearly, each of us makes this kind of visualization by repeating those sentences. As has been said, speaking of the power of the words, it is also spoken of closed and sealed phrases that this affirmation is complete in itself. It has that purpose, that intent was defined in that precise manner, that precise sequence of words and therefore that affirmation remains so. 
So the people who are going to say it align themselves directly with the, that kind of intent, even if they may not fully view the whole thing. Also, if people are not totally aware of this, however, speaking the sentences helps to acquire a greater awareness. In fact, what he does is this. He says, universe is energy and there is essentially energy everywhere and our state of well-being as well as illness and so on actually depends on how we relate to this energy and especially if we are also free channels of that energy. To become clear, clear channels through breathing we can do a lot because we clearly make this energy flow in because air is also energy as its energy form even water for example because everything in the end is made up of quantum particles energy in fact once we leave this assumption through a channeling of this consciousness energy we become ourselves sources of the infinitive energy source and therefore not only radiate around us because we become precisely this power of energy. This creative force then expands is like an egg that opens. Channels of this propagation of this universal energy and powerful, not all of them therefore are in health and so on. So why this, uh, this energy can't be used by all people. Why not all people are in health? Because uh, by living in a less vibratory state, that this cannot happen in all kinds of, of miracle because you believe, you are convinced there are mental filters that prevent this from happening in each of us because perhaps there are limiting beliefs because you are focused on other things or do not have time for your own spirituality because some topics are beginning to spread only in the last period in recent year so for a whole series of reasons there are so many situations and lots of thoughts and opinions on these topics but the message of Nobu Shioya is very clear. Therefore, we do not only become new sources of propagation of this creative energy, the vital force that is within each, each of us is enough to activate it and just wake it up. The very activation of uh, this vital force, of this creative force, creates a state of health and well-being in our body, in our mind, spirit and so on. From here we can also understand how he lived until he was 105 years old, thanks to the implementation of these small tricks and techniques, and simply by using our power of the visualization and conscious creation of the reality we want to live, and especially in this case, in addition to be aligned to these vibrations, we become the new channels of the propagation of this powerful energy that align us with intelligent levels of universal energy. By making an example even more practical, if we relive our lives normally as we do and see only what is visible, which is recognized by science, and we stand somewhat in the superficial state of the surface of, of the world, it is clear that this is a first level of understanding of consciousness. If we want to go farther, we also begin to think in terms of invisible worlds of forces, energy, a structure that permeates force. As Max Planck said, the physical world is an intelligent force that permeates matter, permeates the physical world and this is to what we align ourselves. Because if we realign ourselves with that, we become channels aware of those same vibrations, of the same universal intelligence and of that creative force that is channeled both to activate this same force in other people even though initially they are not totally aware of that and are for themselves evolving faster to create a truly world of harmony, serenity, love and gratitude. And this is the same goal and focus of the great day of love and gratitude. We have certainly introduced this phrase 
at the beginning of meditation. In meditation, there are two parts. The first is that of the heart, where there is the activation of crystal hearts, this connection to all hearts of humanity, the blessing of all those on the planet. And then the second part, where there is the alignment of the dolphins. So also, this immersion in our emotions and purification of ourselves and then the blessing of water, blessing and, in the end, we could introduce the phrase to emphasize a value that has a sentence of the kind that was conceived to channel this same creative force. So we combine the intent. In fact, it's something that we do when we propagate bless and so on but in addiction science to phrase was used from so many people in the past even now it's repeated again this answers its effect strengthens its power and it has been added to our meditation even as a simple phrase sung or read so that it can seal even more the intent of evolving alignment with the universal creative force and thus with the high vibrations. Nobu Shioya then also given a lot of attention to the fact that thoughts are transmitted at a speed higher than that of light and therefore are totally independent of distance. These thoughts are also independent of time. In fact, he always adds an example in his book where in some experiments the chi of water quality has been altered at large distances. For example, a Qi Kong teacher sent his chi to a water prepared to Beijing, so he really underwent went this create this great change in a moment precisely because this energy truth creation happens in an instant. So it's much faster than light. Not only that, they could also send these thoughts by making certain focusing. Even with its breath, even for past events, they are still affecting us. For example, familial disagreements, perhaps with mother, father, or any relationship that is still quite unresolved at this moment. We can also throw certain focuses blessing of love and gratitude to succeed with this operation, which is quite aspirational, timeless, to melt all these blocks, precisely through all this wonderful affirmation and blessing. It's amazing what your power, what your power is. We have incredible power, unlimited power. On June 11, 2017, we will join at 12 o'clock. We will also pronounce this sentence, so we will honor and thanks to Dr. Nobuo Shioya and Dr. Masaru Imoto for all the work that they did before. It is also important that we follow this approach. We also try to enhance the work that has been done before by those who preceded us, or even give continuity in this sense. Each of us can do something, it can do its part. We are expanding this event as much as possible, spreading it, involving many people to elevate ourselves during this day and thus bring the powerful transformation into ourselves. It's not just the day in itself, but it's also the focus we have put in all these months. So it's a focus we are going to put as if there were so many small seeds. It is also the meaning of the phrase that has been proposed as a global meditation to be made on the 11th of each month at noon. We always remember that a part of our focus goes to ourselves and above all goes to the planet, goes to the other animals, things, because this feeling that is love and gratitude must be exchanged and therefore should not be kept only with each other. With all living things, this is important, this continuous energy exchange, this flowing of energy, then generate many effects, cascading effects in our lives. The critical mass, in the sense that there is a sufficient number of people who are focused, aligned to the same dream, to the same emanation, to the same intent, 
and therefore in fact at that moment we are that we become that we are this critical mass can be reached it is important to be tuned even if space and time do not exist it is important to recognize us to know who we are to recognize related thoughts to establish contacts exchanges to create this network of love and gratitude also there is however something that we can do on our own knowing and having the awareness that we are not alone that there is someone else in the other part of the world who is doing the same having this the conscious trust inside of us that we are united that we are connected we are one and so this is what then creates the biggest change the wonderful trust in ourselves the wonderful confidence we are united we are the same substance and that is what helps us to recognize and then grow certainly in the world there are so many situations there are so many realities we understand that there are the point that these are the point on which it is important to work work in ourselves but also to make changes to external conscious section outside so this is the fundamental part we must grasp where at the point to work and then work to become light channels of this energy and let it flow smoothly so with the, uh, the least effort we can achieve maximum performance maximum results through the infinite power that is inside each of us Thank you for having listened to us. Uh, I remind you that is in order to receive the meditation in MP3 format, you can write to info at srcambiamento.it or directly on Facebook. There are different events on the one hand. There are some who preferred to do something more limited, such as only the prayer and meditation, but staying together, being happy together, having maybe a meal together, especially is uh, if gathering in natural surrounding some other choose also other activities like uh, acts contacts yoga songs and so on but all in harmony with love and gratitude you can choose if you want to join a local event or make the meditation alone or at home it depends on how you feel we have to keep in mind that the really important thing in world this is to feel deeply inside love and gratitude. And please uh, contact us for any inquiry or questions. Thank you for being here, part of this beautiful connection. Thank you for having listened to us. And bye bye. Please note also that the meditation is composed of three parts. So the first part is the mantra, so the grand invocation. And the second part is the meditation of the heart crystals and the third part is the talking connection and the water prayer. We have also a unique mp3 with all this meditation. Please, if you want the mp3 format, please send us an email as Andrea said or if you want to do on the internet on YouTube, you find the playlist on YouTube, different playlists in different languages. So you can listen the world meditation which need 26 and 30 26 minutes and 33 seconds. So it's a long meditation. We will be all together. We will experience something together at this moment. Please stay tuned and thank you very much for being here today. We wish you a very great day or night and see you tomorrow. Goodbye.
poder eterno del universo se ha reunido para crear el mundo de verdadera y grande armonía. Le pouvoir eternel de l'univers se ha assemblado crear un mundo de verdad y de grande armonía. Благослови вечно мучен вечно. Segnen die ewige Macht des Universums. Brahman ki ananti shakti ka ashirwad. Upodi eterno do universo. Ang walang hanggang kapangyarihan ng sansinungkob.
En conexión con la Madre Tierra, percibimos nuestros pies bien apoyados al suelo. Escuchando nuestra respiración y percibiendo la energía terrestre que fluye desde los pies y se expande en todo nuestro cuerpo, nos conectamos con el sol, llamando a la luz interior que reside en cada uno de nosotros. Acogemos con agradecimiento el don de este aquí y ahora. Y si el cielo está cubierto, movámonos con la conciencia cerca del sol e iniciemos a percibir el amor, su energía, su luz. Demos gracias por el don de este momento. El calor de los rayos solares calienta nuestro cuerpo como en un abrazo de pura luz. El calor, la luz es energía, es amor que calienta y regenera cada célula de nuestro cuerpo. Empezamos a expandir el poder del corazón alineándonos con nuestra esencia, con el sentimiento de unión, con el todo que conquista nuestro ser. Demos 
damos gracias abriendo el, el corazón por cada momento en el que nos hemos abierto y hemos consentido al amor guiar nuestros pasos. Propagando desde nuestro centro el amor y el agradecimiento, iniciamos a percibir el poder de nuestro corazón que inicia a brillar como un cristal, propagando luz pura en torno a sí mismo. Pensemos en torno a nuestro centro, mientras nuestro corazón cristal brilla e irradia alrededor toda su energía, como la de los rayos del sol. Conectamos a los demás corazones de nuestra humanidad para unirnos en esta danza, focalizada en la unión de los corazones del planeta. Otros corazones que se evocan y empiezan a vibrar entrando en resonancia. Muchos cristales empiezan a iluminarse, a brillar, a emanar la luz del centro de sí mismos. Son los corazones de la humanidad que se expanden y se unen en un único corazón que envuelve con infinito amor y con profundo sentimiento de responsabilidad a la humanidad y la Madre Tierra. Plenamente conscientes de estar aquí y ahora, eligiendo conscientemente abrir al amor nuestra vida. Con amor y agradecimiento, bendecimos cada corazón 
de nuestro planeta. Así sea. Con los corazones de la humanidad abiertos, nos levantamos y alzamos los brazos cogidos de la mano los unos a los otros, o simplemente imaginando hacer. Escuchamos nuestra respiración y nos conectamos con el canto de los delfines. Cantos suaves. Cantos de alegría. Cantos de juego. Cantos de amor que nos conducen en la profundidad de los océanos cristalinos teñidos por los colores del agua. Las algas bailan al ritmo del son de la vida. Las burbujas de agua emergen efervescentes desde la profundidad del océano. Peces de colores fluyen por las calientes y frías corrientes de agua. Es una fiesta de colores, de sonidos y de movimientos. Es la danza de la vida. Escuchando nuestro latido, Entramos en resonancia con los corazones de los delfines, de los seres del agua y de todos los seres vivos. Percibimos la energía potente de la pureza, la profunda relajación que proviene del abrazo del agua. Mientras nos acunan los cantos dulces de los delfines. Ahora nos desprendemos de toda emoción del pasado que hoy ya no nos pertenece. Cada emoción se convierte en una gota que en el amor y en el agradecimiento se purifica y regenera, trayendo la cura y la purificación de nosotros mismos. Damos 
gracias con el corazón abierto. Gracias. 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 Nos cogemos de la mano y nos dirigimos al agua para ofrecer nuestra oración de perdón y de bendición. Amada agua, a ti nos dirigimos con alegría. Estamos aquí hoy para pedirte humildemente perdón por cada emoción, cada pensamiento, cada elección, cada gesto, cada acción que no ha respetado la vida que habita en ti, en el mar, en los lagos. En los ríos, en los torrentes, en las lagunas, en la lluvia, en la nieve. Perdónanos por cada vez que nos hemos olvidado de darte gracias, cada vez que hemos bebido de tus sagras fuentes, conservándote y custodiándote como el don más preciado. Perdónanos. 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 A ti que nutres la vida, a ti que eres la vida misma, acoge nuestra oración que nace en nuestros corazones. Nosotros te amamos y te agradecemos. Nosotros te amamos y te agradecemos. Nosotros te amamos y te agradecemos. Hoy estamos aquí con el corazón abierto para construir un nuevo camino de evolución humana basado en el respeto de la vida, en el respeto de nosotros mismos. Hoy estamos aquí para compartirte y para respetarte como el bien más preciado que nutre todo ser humano y toda criatura viviente. Hoy estamos unidos en un solo corazón que abraza a la humanidad y a la Madre Tierra en las altas vibraciones de amor y de agradecimiento. Hoy bendecimos el mar, los ríos, torrentes, gotas que fluyen en el planeta hasta llegar a la más pequeña gota. Con 
infinito amor y con profundo agradecimiento te bendecimos para que tú puedas volver a correr limpia y pura como un cristal sobre la madre tierra. Así sea.
Em conexão com a Mãe Terra, percebemos os nossos pés firmemente no chão. Ao ouvir as nossas inspirações e ao perceber a energia da Terra que flui a partir dos pés e se expande em todo o nosso corpo, nos conectamos com o Sol, recordando a luz interior dentro de cada um de nós. Acolhemos um gratidão, o dom do que há aqui agora e se o céu estiver coberto. Movimentamos a nossa consciência pelo, perto do sol e começamos a sentir o amor, a sua energia e a luz. Agradecemos pelo dom deste momento. O calor dos raios do sol aquece o nosso corpo como em um abraço de luz pura. O calor, a luz e a energia é o amor que aquece e regenera cada célula do nosso corpo. Começamos a amplificar o poder do coração, nos alinhando com a nossa essência, com o sentimento de união com todo que permeia o nosso ser. Que 
na abertura do coração, agradecemos cada momento em que estamos abertos e permitimos ao amor guiar os nossos passos. Expandindo do nosso centro do amor e a gratidão, começamos a sentir o poder do nosso coração, que começa a brilhar como um cristal, espalhando a luz pura. Nós dançamos ao redor do nosso centro, enquanto o nosso coração de cristal brilha e irradia para longe toda a sua energia, como aquela dos raios do sol. Nos conectamos agora a outros corações da humanidade para se unir a esta dança, focada na união dos corações do planeta. Outros corações que são chamados a vibrar começam ressoando. Muitos cristais começam a brilhar para irradiar a luz do centro de si mesmo. Eles são os corações da humanidade que se expandem e se unem em um coração só que envolve com um infinito amor e um profundo sentimento de responsabilidade com a humanidade e a Mãe Terra. Com plena consciência de estar no aqui e agora, na escolha consciente de estar abertos ao amor em nossa vida,
Abençoamos cada coração do nosso planeta com amor e gratidão. Que assim seja.
Na abertura dos corações da humanidade, nos levantamos em pé e elevamos os braços, unidos nas mãos uns aos outros, ou simplesmente imaginando de fazê-lo. Ouvimos a nossa respirações e nos conectamos com os cantos dos golfinhos, cantos suaves, canções de alegria, canções de brincadeiras. Canções de amor que nos levam para as profundezas do oceano cristalino pintado com as cores da água. As águas, algas dançam ao som da vida. As bolhas água emergem espumantes das profundezas do oceano. Peixes coloridos fluem nas correntes quentes e frias de água. Uma festa de cores, sons e movimentos. É a dança da vida. Ao ouvir nosso batimento cardíaco, entramos em ressonância com os corações dos golfinhos, os seres de água e todos os seres vivos. Percebemos a poderosa energia da pureza, o relaxamento profundo que vem do braço envolvente da água, enquanto estamos em, embalados pelas doces canções dos golfinhos. Agora vamos liberar todas as emoções do passado, que já não nos pertencem mais. Cada emoção torna-se uma gota que é purificada e regenerada do amor e na gratidão, trazendo sua cura e purificação em nós mesmos. Agradecemos na abertura do coração. Obrigado. 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 Nós damos as mãos e nós voltamos à água para estender a nossa oração de perder perdão e bênção. Amada água, voltamos para você com grande alegria.
Estamos aqui hoje para pedir humildemente perdão por todas as nossas emoções, por cada pensamento, por palavra, decisão, gesto, ação, que não respeita a vida que habita em você. Em mares, lagos, rios, córregos, lagoas, na chuva e na neve. Perdoe-nos por esquecer de estar gratos cada vez mais, que bebemos das suas fontes sagradas e de lhe proteger e preservar como o dom mais precioso. Perdoe-nos. 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 Por você que nutre a vida, para você que é da vida, em si, acolha a nossa oração que vem do coração. Nós lhe amamos e lhe agradecemos. Nós lhe amamos e lhe agradecemos. Nós lhe amamos e lhe agradecemos. Estamos aqui hoje na abertura do coração para construir um novo caminho de evolução com base no respeito à vida, no respeito de nós mesmos. Hoje estamos aqui para lhe compartilhar e respeitá-la como o bem mais valioso que alimenta todos os seres humanos e todos os seres vivos. Hoje estamos unidos em um único coração que abraça a humanidade e a Mãe Terra, nas elevadas vibrações de amor e gratidão. Hoje abençoamos todos os mares, rios e achas, cada gota que flui no planeta até a menor gota de água. Com infinito amor e profunda gratidão, lhe abençoamos para que você possa voltar a fluir clara e pura como um cristal sobre a amada Mãe Terra. Que assim seja.
poder eterno del universo se ha reunido para crear el mundo de verdadera y grande armonía. Le pouvoir eternel del universo se ha reunido crear un mundo de verdad y de grande armonía. Slowly, eventually. Wir segnen die ewige Macht des Universums. Brahman ki Ananti Shakti ka Ashirvad.
In connecting with Mother Earth, we feel our feet 
firmly planted on the ground. Listening to our breaths and the energy from the earth that flows from our feet. As it expands throughout our bodies, we connect to the sun, recalling the inner light within each of us. We welcome with gratitude the grace of this here and now. And if the sky is covered, let's move our consciousness near the sun and begin to feel the love, its energy, its light. We give thanks for the gift of this moment. The heat of the sun's rays warms our bodies as an embrace of pure light. The heat, the light is energy. It is love that warms and regenerates every cell in our bodies. We begin to amplify the power of the heart, aligning to our essence. We feel the union with the all that pervades our being. Every moment we give thanks in the opening of our hearts when we opened up and we allowed love to guide our steps. Expanding love and gratitude from our center, we begin to feel the power of our hearts, which begin to shine like a crystal, spreading pure light around itself. around our center while our crystal heart 
shines and radiates all of its energy like that of the sun's rays. Now, we connect to the other hearts of humanity. As we join in this dance, we focus on the union of the world's hearts. Other hearts that are called begin to vibrate, resonating. Many crystals begin to glow, to sparkle, to emanate light from the center of themselves. They are the hearts of humanity that expands and unites in one heart that enfolds with infinite love and with a deep sense of responsibility, humanity, and Mother Earth. In full awareness of being here and now, in the conscious choice to open up in our love life. With love and gratitude, we bless every heart of our planet. So it is.
the opening of the heart of humanity, we stand up and raise our arms by joining hands to each other or simply by imagining doing so. We go into listening to our breaths and we connect to the chanting of the dolphins. Soft chants of joy, chants of play, and chants of love leading us into the crystalline depths of the oceans painted by the colors of water. Seaweeds dancing to the rhythm of the sound of life. The sparkling water bubbles emerge from the ocean depths. Colored fishes run along the hot and cold water currents. It's a festival of colors, sounds, and movements. It is the dance of life. In listening to our heartbeats, we get into resonance with the hearts of the dolphins, the water creatures, and all living beings. We feel the powerful energy of purity, the deep relaxation that comes from the wrapping embrace of water while we are lulled by the sweet chanting of the dolphins. Now we release every emotion of the past, which is no longer in our highest good. Every emotion becomes a drop that in love and gratitude is purified and regenerated, bringing healing and purification into ourselves. We give thanks in the opening of our hearts. Thanks. 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 We hold hands and we turn to water to extend our prayer of forgiveness and blessing. The loved water return to you with great joy.
We are here today to humbly ask forgiveness for every emotion, every thought, every word, every decision, every gesture, every action that does not respect the life that dwells in you, in seas, lakes, rivers, streams, lagoons, in the rain and in the snow. Forgive us for forgetting to be grateful every time we drink from your sacred springs. We will preserve and guard you as the most precious gift. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. To you who nourish life, to you who are the life itself, please receive our prayer that comes from our heart. We love you and we thank you. We love you and we thank you. We love you and we thank you. We're here today at the opening of the heart to build a new path of human evolution based on the respect for life, on the respect of ourselves. Today we are here to share you and respect you as the most valuable asset that nourishes every human being and every living creature. Today we are united in one heart that embraces humanity and Mother Earth in the higher vibrations of love and gratitude. Today we bless every sea, every river, every stream, every drop that flows on the planet reaching the smallest drop of water. With infinite love and deep, deep gratitude, we bless you so that you can return flowing clear and pure as crystal on the beloved Mother Earth. So it is.
vi knyter an med moderjord. Vi känner våra fötter stadigt på marken. Lyssnar till vår andning och känner energin från jorden som flödar in i våra fötter och expanderar ut i våra kroppar. Vi knyter an till solen, kallar på det inre ljuset som finns inom oss alla. Vi välkomnar med tacksamhet elegansen av detta här och nu. Och även om det skulle vara molnigt så vänder vi vårt medvetande mot solen och börjar att känna kärleken, energin, ljuset. Vi tackar för gåvan i detta ögonblick. Värmen från solens strålar värmer våra kroppar som en omfamning av rent ljus. Värmen och ljuset är energi, är kärlek som värmer och återupplivar varje cell i våra kroppar. Vi börjar att utvidga hjärtats kraft, kommer tillbaka i balans med vår essens. Vi känner föreningen med alltet som genomtränger vår varelse. I varje ögonblick känner vi tacksamhet. Öppnar vi våra hjärtan, för när vi öppnar upp låter vi kärleken vägleda oss. Vi expanderar kärlek och tacksamhet från vårt inre. Vi känner våra hjärtans kraft som börjar att skina likt en kristall. Sprider rent ljus omkring sig.
Vi dansar runt vårt inre smitt medan våra kristallhjärtan skiner och utstrålar all sin energi så som solens strålar. Nu knyter vi an till mänsklighetens alla hjärtan. När vi deltar i denna dans fokuserar vi på föreningen av världens alla hjärtan. Andra hjärtan som känner sig kallade börjar att vibrera, att resonera. Många kristaller börjar att glöda, att knistra, att sända ut ljus från sina egna inre källor. De är mänsklighetens hjärtan som expanderar och förenas i ett hjärta som med oändlig kärlek och med en djup känsla av ansvar omsluter mänskligheten och moder jord. I full medvetenhet av varandet här och nu. I det medvetna valet att öppna upp i vår kärlek till livet. Med kärlek och tacksamhet välsignar vi varje hjärta på vår planet. Så är det.